All right, the recording has started. So, Ayaya and Abdullah Hamid, the floor is yours. Welcome. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you. Pascal. Yeah. Yeah. So, good afternoon, everyone. Today, me and my friend Ayaya would be leading the training late session. And I hope we brought you an interesting topic. Um, and we should start now. So, Today, what we are going to be talking about is augmented reality and virtual reality. So I think this has been a trending uh, topic uh, recently, and we wanted to actually have a discussion about this topic. So before we actually start, I want to start by asking you guys, has anyone tried AR or VR before? Uh, so has anyone actually experienced it? uh this technology if so please unmute yourself and you can speak up i have ever oh, sorry i haven't it's me speaking so vr technology is i can say it's amazing and it's also terrifying because um, it's scary as you encounter it. Um, I encountered it once, and I, I, I left my seat shaking. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. OK. So you actually tried uh, watching a movie or a game? In no, it was, it was sort of an adventure. <laughs> in a mountain place yeah it was oh. kind of an adventure walking through a mountain i left my seat shaking okay okay so that was one experience thank you for sharing yvonne uh anyone else that wants to add yeah so I'm sorry. Yeah, Abi, you can go on. Uh, oh, all right, all right. So uh, I have experienced VR before, and there is a, a game called uh, Creed on the VR, especially on the Oculus one that the uh, one Meta is producing. So it's, it was very exciting. It was very uh, engaging. And also, I've played about three or four games using it. Uh, there is a Beat Saber, there is Walking Dead, uh, there is uh, another one left on the island, stranded on the island. So it was very exciting. It was very exciting. I can say uh, I have uh, I have visited that uh, game space about three or four times. And uh, Rodolfo, you're right. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm um, sorry, I couldn't see what was in the chat message. Maybe I will see it now. Uh, yeah, Rudolf, I know you're the no, first it's one. Okay. You can go on. I will, I will let you know. All right. So thank you for sharing, Abel. Uh, yeah, uh, so VR and AR actually is a, a, a future technology. Actually, we can say it has now started to gain traction. Uh, with the release of some headset recently, and we would be talking about that uh, uh, in this uh, presentation. So, uh, anyone else that wants to add before we go on to the next slide? Anyone that has tried AR or VR before? It's actually a very common uh, application. Yeah, besides actually using uh the headsets there are some applications as well but yeah finally can go on <clears throat> uh yeah i mean uh, vr as i will say like i played some games and you know tried uh, some virtual videos some were exciting and some were terrifying as you all said but uh they were enjoyable for the most part but for the ar i think augmented reality there was a game called pokemon where you yeah. go around and uh, pick, uh, uh, I think they were called monsters or something. I don't know, but yeah, 
so basically you go around collecting you know monsters with your camera and that was also a fun aspect of it i haven't yeah. really checked out what other things are out there besides the new apple product so yeah. i guess it's gonna be fun <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you thank you fun and we will be talking about the game as well in this presentation so i will now proceed to the next slide uh, so here we have the outline for this presentation first we'll be starting with defining the terms uh, vr ar and also then we'll go to the advancements in this technology then we will discuss some of the common use cases uh, and then finally we'll be talking about the drawbacks or the cons of this technology so i hope you guys would enjoy this presentation so next i will jump straight to the definitions augmented reality so augmented reality is a combination of a real scene viewed by a user and a virtual scene generated by a computer that augments the scene with additional information so that's a lot of words but to just uh, have a clear picture we included this image below so if we look at the image uh, there is a person holding a device and there is a background that we can see as well and the background is actually an empty living room so the couch you are currently seeing in the device is actually augmented and it's not available in the real scene but it's added as a virtual scene to the real scene and here we can see the user actually can uh, see his real environment even if uh, an additional digital virtual uh, scene has been augmented so this is what augmented reality is next we have virtual reality so virtual reality is a technology that uses software to generate realistic images sound and other sensations that replicate the real world environment while disconnecting the user from the real world so what exactly differentiates this from the augmented reality is the disconnecting from the user from the real world part so in the below image we can see a person and there is a jungle that is displayed in front of him and here we can see that the user is actually disconnected from the real environment and what he is experiencing is an uh, all-in virtual scene so the the user is actually i think playing a game in this scene and uh, he's uh, he's entirely submerged into the virtual scene so this is what virtual reality is about and all the games that you guys mentioned is are, is actually using this vr technology those um scary games and also i will i, I see you mentioned playing creed and actually uh, yeah this is one of the additional uh the additional example for this virtual reality next there is mixed reality so mixed reality refers to a more advanced form of augmented reality where digital and physical elements coexist and interact in real time so we can think of mixed reality as augmented reality 2.0 so it's a more advanced form of augmented reality and there is a high level of interaction between the physical and the digital environment so i have included a video below i hope you guys can actually see it and here we can see a doctor that is interacting with a human being that is digitally overlaid over the real environment in an operating room and you can see that uh, she is opening the human that's laying on the operating table and seeing the internals and this is one example of mixed reality so there is a high level of interaction between the physical and the digital world so i hope you guys have a clear image of these three terms augmented reality virtual reality as well as mixed reality and i would like to open the floor for any questions you are, you guys have about these three yeah basilil continue please uh, hey Abhami. thank you for the presentation can you clarify the difference between the mixed reality and then the virtual reality because they both seem to have some sort of 
real real life element if i'm not if i didn't get your definition wrong oh virtual reality and mixed reality you mean, you mean this and mixed reality right yeah yeah, yeah so one differentiating factor between these two is the disconnecting from the real world so in virtual reality the user is entirely submerged into the digital world so uh, the user can't actually see what's happening in the real world and if you have seen some videos some people play games uh, wearing this headset and they just bump into a wall or they fall off just because they don't have the real environment they don't know where they are actually and they are entirely submerged into the digital or the virtual scene in the case of mixed reality they can actually see the physical world so here the doctor actually can see the, the operating table which is a physical uh, world the real world and also the human that's lying down on the operating table that is a virtual or a digital scene that is added on top of the real sea, the real world sea. So in mixed reality, the user actually can uh, see his environment and also interact with a virtual, virtually augmented scene. That's uh, the difference. And is it clear, Basilal, or should I clarify it again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand the difference now. All right. Thank you, Basilal. So Nick, anyone else that has some confusions about these terms or you'd like to add something okay. Okay. Do. I, I, I had the same yeah. question i had the same question but uh, as a basil have already raised the question you have already answered so for me it's okay Okay, okay, thank you, Rodolf. So I should now continue to the next slide. So here we have some key advancements of these technologies, and we chose some of uh, the history or the advancements uh, we thought would be um, would be like interesting for you guys. So in 1968, Ivan Sutherland, a Harvard professor and computer scientist created the first head-mounted display called the Sword of Damocles. So the naming is a bit weird and it's strange, but it's basically a head-mounted display. And that display actually comes uh, hanging from the ceiling. And it wasn't uh, the display, the headset as we know now. But in 1968, that was invented by a Harvard professor, Ivan Sutherland. Then in 1990, Tom Caudill, a Boeing researcher coined the term augmented reality. So we know Boeing is a popular American company that produces uh, airplanes. And Tom Codell, the researcher that worked there, actually created or coined the term augmented reality back in 1990. Then in 2000, uh, Hirokazu Kato developed an open source software library called the AR Toolkit that allowed Dave's to build augmented reality apps. So it's in 2000 that we started to see the boom of these augmented reality applications being developed for this technology. Then in 2014, Meta, or uh, Facebook, uh, known as, previously known as Facebook, joined the VR industry in 2014 when it acquired Oculus VR, a company that developed VR headsets and software. And since then, Meta has released several VR products such as uh, Quest 1, Quest 2, and Quest 3. And Meta has been a player since 2014 in this field. Then we jump forward to 2023, and Apple, the technology giant, announced its entry into the AR and VR market on June 2023. So uh, we, uh, with the joining of Apple, we can say that the field in VR and AR technology has actually started to thrive even more since there is now more competition between uh, Meta and also now Apple. So, and competition is always good for the customers. And next, I'll jump right into the elephant in the room, the Apple Vision Pro. So what is Apple Vision Pro? Apple Vision Pro is a mixed reality headset 
that's developed by Apple. And as I said before, it was announced in June 2023, and it has been publicly available now uh, since uh, February 2024. So it hasn't been that long since it became uh, available for the wider public. And it runs on Vision OS. It's Apple's first spatial operating system. As we know, Apple produces uh, iPhones, which run on iOS, iPads, which run on iPadOS, Mac, Mac, Mac computers, which run on macOS. And now there's a new addition, Vision OS, to this uh, ecosystem. And the Apple Vision Pro lets us interact with the digital world using just our hands. So there's no need for additional uh, handheld devices to interact with the digital world just by pinching or uh, yeah by pinching mostly we can interact with the digital world on the apple vision pro and the apple vision pro is quite expensive and it's priced at three thousand five hundred dollars and even though it has been it's a bit expensive there has been around two hundred thousand units sold so uh, till now that's like within the release in February, within three weeks, we now have around 200,000 units sold and people are actually interacting with this Apple Vision Pro. So we can see that people are actually eager to uh, delve into this uh, new new technology and the future. So with this, I will end my presentation. And if anyone has any discussion points to be raised or any uh, questions, you can raise them now. Yeah, Rudolf, continue. Okay, yeah. Abdul, thank you for your presentation. Um, now I would like to ask a question regarding um, this Apple Vision Pro, which is uh, an example of a nice uh, reality. So uh, I'm not seeing really very well the advantage or the the purpose of using the devices personally. So I'm not yet convinced. Uh, can we'll, you, come can, we'll come to that, oh, Rudolf. We'll come to that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just yeah, yeah. consider my question. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. we will. There are some use cases that we pre we actually collected for you, and Yaya would continue with that. Uh, if anyone has any questions regarding till now, the presentation till now, you can continue. Yeah, if not, um, my friend would, uh, yeah, yeah, would continue with the rest of the presentation and you'd have fun looking at some of the applications of this AR and VR technology. So thank you for listening. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would stop sharing my screen now and you can continue. Uh, thank you, Abdul. Uh, there is a little bit of network uh, breakups, so just bear with me. Uh, so far, uh, you have uh, understood the definitions and those examples from Avil and Fanuel, uh, and also the advancements of these uh, technologies uh, throughout the year. Uh, next, I will I will present on some uh, use cases. But before that, I need you guys to uh, tell me if uh, you know some particular use case of uh, AR and VR. Uh, something that's applied in the real life or yeah, some some use case examples. Um, Fanuel told us the the Pokemon Go uh, game, which we will see it later. Uh, just give me some example. Anyone? Am I disconnected? Or no, no, we can see. You. Oh, okay. Anyone? No? <laughs> All right. Uh, in that case, I'll jump. 
I'll jump into those common use cases. Um, Wait, yeah, the yeah. first one, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There is Mubarak, raise his hand, so. Okay. Yeah, Mubarak, maybe. Oh, Mubarak. Can... Sorry, I, I can't see both at the time. Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but uh, for uh, the training part, uh, like uh, airlines maybe using it for training the, the pilot, I think so. Yeah, good. Yeah. For educational purposes, yeah. Like on medicine, some of any other? Uh, and even there was uh, a pitch competition, if you guys remember, in Eight Lakes. And uh, the first place winner was uh, using this AR technology for uh, for student, uh, for uh, child education. Like, yeah. uh, it yeah. shows the organs of uh, human being in his demo. So exactly. it is a growing. Yeah. yeah. Manuel? I think, I don't know if you know it, but I think there's a company called Guzo that does, I don't know, a VR sort of a museum or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. think it was touring, I think touring of sorts, yeah. some sort. Yeah. Like they that's, that's, advertise parts of Ethiopia or something, yeah. Yeah, that's another application, yeah. Anyone else? Uh, Abel? I, I think uh, NASA is using it to train its uh, astronauts as well. I have seen a video where they created some sort of uh, zero gravity environment and they had their headsets on and they would kind of navigate through the space and uh, the space shuttles and everything. So it was very, very interesting seeing that. Yeah, Even uh, sure. SpaceX yeah. was implementing, yeah, yeah. SpaceX was also, mm. also implementing this same idea. And uh, I saw the application there in a very, very uh, meaningful and impactful manner. Yeah, good one. Good one. Uh, anyone else? Or should I continue? Uh, actually, uh, maybe I should just jump. Um, this application or use cases because you guys already uh, gave us much more than what we have. So uh, anyway, it's just discussed. The first uh, common use is uh, social media filters. I think Abdul Hamid, maybe you can share and uh, Yaya can speak. Maybe yeah, his okay. connection can turn a little. Right. Yeah, right, those filters that you use on your phone, uh, like in yeah, yeah. Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, those filters are actually uh, VR applications. You take uh, a picture of your dog and yeah, you yeah. overlay some uh, virtual uh, scene. That, that's one application of uh, AR. And the other one is as well. Uh, Hello, yeah, yeah. Uh, his network is breaking up, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think uh, the case happened also. Yeah, that's why. This yeah. case, it's, can you hear me? Yeah, we can actually. Maybe should I uh, share the screen and you you can talk or? Uh, okay, if if I'm disconnected again, yeah, we can do that. Uh, right. So, did I finish this section? Uh, it was breaking up, so I think you yeah, should. Yeah, should... we finished, but we. Yeah, you should do it again. Uh... I think he's gone again. 
Wait, let me pull him and let me tell him. So he's coming back. I will just uh, start sharing my screen and he would continue with the presentation. Is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. I just go to where he stopped. Yeah. So, uh, in the meantime, maybe we can have some discussions until he comes back. What do you guys understand from this slide? You can see it. I'm displaying the social media filter slide. And this is, I think, one of the uh, most common use case. And I don't think people actually know that we yeah, use Abdi? VR here. Yeah, you're back. Okay, you can continue. Yeah, go, go to the next slide, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, you should go with this. I don't think we heard you correctly the first oh. time. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is one of the applications of uh, a VR, right? The the filter that you use uh, on your phone. Uh, you take uh, a, a picture of your dog and you overlay some uh, virtual scenes to it. The, that's a common uh, use case of a VR. Go to the next slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so the, the, the next one is, uh, as Panuel tried to explain, the Pokemon Go. It's another uh, uh, augmented reality application uh, that uh, lets you catch uh, the, the, a Pokemon uh, and win the battle. How it works is that it will uh, overlay the, the locations where you are, the place, the, the real place, it, and then uh, you will try to find the Pokemon. And when you find it, you will uh, shoot with that, the, the white and red uh, thingy. And if you hit it, it means you catch the, the, the Pokemon. So this is uh, one application of um, augmented reality. Uh, one of the common ones, actually. Can you go to the next slide? Yeah, this one is the fun one. Uh, and uh, it's a good application uh, called uh, IKEA Place app, right? It's an, a mobile app that users uh, use uh, to uh, design their uh, room before you uh, actually buy the, the stuff for your, uh, uh, for your room. Uh, what you'll do is you'll take a picture of your room and then you overlay it with some uh, virtual uh, furnitures. You, you put the, the, the chairs, the couch, your flowers, whatever you want, and see how it looks like. Okay. Am I disconnected again? No, you're not. Hello? We can't we can hear, can hear you. Abdul, can you hear me? Yeah, we, we can, we can. Uh, so I think his connection is giving him some trouble. Yeah, yeah, are you back? Uh, yes, and yeah. 
Okay, you can uh, continue. I apologize. Uh, I, I really, this, this network is killing me these days. Uh, so yeah, that, that's one of the uh, common applications uh, in our uh, day, daily life, right? Uh, I hope I explained it very well. If you have any question, you can ask me on that, right? It's just a mobile app that will let you to uh, arrange your uh, furniture in your room uh, before you actually do it, right? Yeah, that's one common application of uh, VR. And uh, there are a lot of applications out there. Uh, Avil also told us about the NASA project. Uh, it's not only there, and Mubarak also told us about the a virtual tool uh, uh, application. There are a lot of applications out there. So in, in medicine, uh, you can actually interact with uh, a human anatomy. Uh, you can dissect it, you can, they, they, they do uh, virtual uh, surgery. So this is uh, another common applications. Uh, can you go to the next slide? If if you guys have any question, you can interrupt and ask me. Another one, which is actually <laughs> important for you guys, is a virtual external monitor, right? Uh, so this will let you to extend your real uh, monitor uh, into a bigger uh, virtual display, right? And then you can interact with it. Uh, this is another fun application uh, you can actually uh, type save run your codes using that big virtual uh, display yeah all right can you go to the next slide all right good just play one by one not only not all of them abdul yes okay just watch watch this movies and then uh we continue. Watch it closely. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> I think we get the idea. Go to the next one. Even in the gym, yeah. even while driving yeah <laughs> all right go to the next one i i think you get the point even while crossing the roads all right um i think we get the idea so i'm gonna ask you a question right uh, this all seems fun, right, uh, and exciting, but there is a big question. Uh, does this uh, application have a drawback or a coin, right? We know it has uh, a lot of applications, but can we, I mean, do they have uh, some bro uh, drawbacks? Can anyone tell us about that? Right, you have seen the pictures, right? Is it always uh, gone, Fanuel? I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> we can see it. <laughs> it's like that's a detachment device from reality, and I think it's gonna further, you know, get us apart from each other and you know to the point the, yeah yeah social distancing is gonna be you know 
up high yeah. without the pandemic. So exactly, it's a good thing for me. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the major drawbacks of uh, these technologies. Anyone else? No. So can we accept them as, I mean, <laughs> uh, all right, go to the next slide, Abdul. Uh, Rudolf. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a, I have a question. Um, sure. For, yeah, from the videos, I, I saw a guy uh, crossing the, the street with, yeah. Uh, yeah, with, the, with uh, this device. So I don't, I don't know, is, is the device helping Helping him to cross the the street, the road, uh, what I don't I don't no. really understand the concept. No, it was it was not helping him. Rather, uh, he is interacting with the virtual world while he's crossing the the, the road, right? Oh, that's Doing, that's yeah. that's not good. <laughs> so, no, that, that, that that's, yeah, that's why we intentionally can create a lot of accidents. Yes, yes. That's why we gave you those uh, videos intentionally. There are a lot of uh, fun examples out there, right? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I get you. I get. I get the insight now. So, uh, to answer your question, uh, this thing can create some accidents and some social distance, like uh, a Fanuel yes. was saying. Yeah. And. Uh, also, the one who who were in uh, who were in, in the car driving yeah. his car with uh, this device, uh, I mean, accident yeah. can 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 be created easily. Yeah. Uh, I think you get the the, the bigger picture, right? Uh, yes. Yes. They are not they are not always fun. Uh, actually, people are. Uh, uh, debating about those uh, drawbacks or cons of these technologies. You can check them out on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I will just try to explain some of them. The, the first one is it's expensive, right? Uh, we all can afford it. It's, it's about like um, $3,500, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, another uh, drawback is a health issue. They can cause uh, eye strain, motion sickness, fatigue, and neck pain from uh, prolonged use. Uh, this is another uh, drawback. And the main uh, drawback is detachment from reality. Uh, as you saw in the uh, videos, people are actually, uh, they are, using the vr i mean using the vr uh, while we are they while they are dining right instead of um having a connection with with each other uh they are interacting with the virtual uh scene which is uh i believe not a good uh, thing so they they can create a sense of isolation from or, or detachment from the uh, real world uh, the other one is it's kind of not uh, accessible or it's not, it's not accessible for uh, some users with impaired vision and uh, disabilities, right? So these are uh, some of the uh, drawbacks of these technologies. Uh, I hope that gives you the bigger picture. If you have any questions, you can uh, raise and we can discuss about them. Yeah, anyone? Uh, so I have a question for you guys. Uh, we have we have seen different fun stuff. We have seen the the, the drawbacks, but still we we want them. We try to them. I mean, we can use them for different applications, right? So the question is, uh, what other applications would you like to see? develop using um, AR and VR. Just give us an example. Uh, so that maybe me and 
Abdu can develop it for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just give us something. <laughs> yeah, just just to be an icebreaker. Yeah. Uh, no. This is one one thing that I want to be I want to see being developed. So <clears throat> the request the reconstruction of previous events would be a best uh, application for this, I would say, to actually experience how things uh, happen. So most of us here are Ethiopians, and uh, I, I think we all know about the Battle of Adwa. And I think yeah. it would be cool if we can like relieve that moment in a virtual uh, scene where the battle would be ongoing, and we can see what happened where, and uh, it would help us actually have a, a much better understanding of our history as well. So that's one uh, application I'd like to see. Good one. Yeah. So recreating the Battle of Adwa, right? Yeah. Have, have, have you seen the, the video of Minili? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the AI generated video. Yeah, yeah. That That's a good one. Um, yeah. But what I do want to uh say that we using those uh, vr in the r uh, he wants us to create uh the the battle of adwa right the, there is a the the creed game right just like that we want to experience the the battle of adwa yeah that's a good one uh i, I mean who i think rodolf yeah Good. Go on. Uh, okay. If there is uh, any idea from me regarding VR, it will be a, a kind of uh, an environment where uh, people can train how to code again <laughs> uh, when when the <laughs> when the the they right where they code they will they will earn some bonus, and uh, I think in in a few. Two weeks they will really like uh, and address the uh i mean they correct their way to to code optimize their way to code because when uh abel was talking about his game uh he said uh, within two weeks he f he felt like uh, he wanted to to become a bosser so this kind of environment can help us to develop our skill uh yeah. regarding coding even e ai so this is what uh, I really, uh, I quickly thought and I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you. That's a good one. So you want us to uh, develop a virtual tutor, right? Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> kind of. <laughs> good, good. Uh, fun way? Uh, I mean, I, I think it's the same thing. I don't know if any one of you saw the movie her? Uh, uh, her, yes. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's more of a yeah. romantic companion. But yeah. if you just saw that movie, like, it involves some AI too. But yeah, basically, yeah. the concept is a virtual companion that you can talk yeah. to, have a conversation with, you know, like a virtual version of a person. So, I think yeah. that would be cool. But there are also moral implications about that. So, that's yeah. something at least. Yeah. All right, good one. Uh, Abiel? All right, so uh, one thing I want to be is, uh, for example, I want to be a pet, I want to be a dog, I want to be a cat, and relieve their experience in a way. And also imagine, <laughs> imagine trying to live as an elephant or any kind of uh, animal that you want. Imagine trying to fly. <laughs> it will be so immersive. Uh, okay, so, that's yeah. a good one. We will, we will think about it. <laughs> yes, yes. I want to leave any creatures uh, this day life, you know. Nice, uh, nice. <laughs> Ready to go on. Yeah. Okay, so it's not uh, something that is not created uh, in, I think, uh, industries like IKEA, the furniture wallet, they have started to use AR in VR, but it's not yeah. applicable in your course. Uh, um, I, was, uh, I was out because of connection, because maybe you have mentioned it, I don't know, but imagine if it was applicable yeah. in, it, 
yeah, including buying the furniture where well, you're going. You can see that whether one of the furniture or the tables are might align with your house colors or uh, for, with the position and something like that. So that is yeah. very nice. And also even your clothes, you can see whether that clothes will fit you properly or not. Uh, this is working in another wallet, but not yeah. here. So I wish that if, if, if we can make it yeah. here. Uh, Abdul, that's that's your assignment. You have to think <laughs> about it. Uh, I know most most of the apps doesn't work in Ethiopia. Even the Siri, da, does it work? No, I don't think. Even ChatGTP came way after uh, other people. Yeah, we have that problem. Not only in VR, AR. So it's up to us to start thinking about it to develop our own. Um, apps yeah that's a good yeah, one I, th I think it's an yeah. untapped market here in ethiopia uh, yeah. there is one one company that i know of i think it was mentioned before it was gozo technologies and they are doing some uh exciting stuff with this vr and AR technology besides them i don't think there's any anyone else that is actually trying to use this technology to uh have anything that would uh, help the that would actually be profitable so it's mm -hmm. an untapped market and it would be a good a good strategy to actually start developing apps for this technology i know it's expensive to have the device at hand the vr headsets but still uh it, it could be something in the future so yeah good good yeah. idea right? yeah maybe uh, let be maybe i don't know kind of series maybe we we should team up and start a, a startup for real uh, <laughs> yeah anyone that has some kind of experience with yeah i, I, I mean especially related to recent technologies um we are getting it back i mean so late uh, with other with that there's a role I, I hope you get my idea yeah yeah all right uh i think that's all we have thank you very much uh yeah um yeah. thank you guys yeah <laughs> yeah uh if pascaline is she here yeah of course she is maybe she can close it <laughs> All right, thank you everyone. This was very engaging and very informative indeed. I myself enjoyed it and, and I can see from the reactions of people, everyone enjoyed this kind of session. So thank you so much, uh, Musa and Leia. We appreciate you so much. And to everyone who showed up, let's ensure that we take this creativity with us and see what we can do in the future, you know? Probably you can get some billion dollars from this. You never know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, have a yeah. have a great evening, everyone. All right, uh, thank see you. you in the CBS shortly. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <clears throat>